this is going to be an ASMR game development update video. Um, somebody in the comments suggested this a couple weeks ago, so I did record it, but since then we've like made a few changes and things, so it's probably just going to be easier to re-record this video, so that's what I'm doing. Um, so, for those who don't know, I'm making a third-person shooter called Cross Planet for PC. Hopefully it will be on consoles too. Um, and I've been making it for over two years now. Um, there's me and a team of like eight people total, nine maybe. Um, and it's very similar to like uh, a Halo or a Quake Unreal Tournament, that kind of thing. But in third person. So, uh, I'm just gonna, we're gonna jump screens to gameplay, I'll be in the corner still talking, and you can have a look at the game while I talk about it. So, oh, but before we do that, I'm just gonna show off some of the 3D models that I printed and painted of characters from the video game, which are really cool. Um, so there's one, and then we've got this guy as well. And then I recently just did a like trophy style one. So this is like all silver, glossy and shiny. So yeah. Um, and then we're going to an event here in the UK um, called Insomnia Gaming Festival. We go each year and we give away like free stuff and things. So we'll be giving out some cross planet um, themed business cards that look like this um, and we'll have a big like um, banner on display I think we've got two banners this year like big roller banners that um, you like slide up and they're like as tall as like my floor to my ceiling almost um, with like advertisement for the game on it so that's cool um, and yeah we're giving out some freebies and we're giving out these like little helmets of characters from the game so that's really cool so we've got those ones we've got a black version uh, a red version of that one too and then we've got some other styles as well like this one so yeah some uh, some really cool stuff <laughs> um, yeah so if you are in the UK um, and you're going to Insomnia Gaming Festival, then um, I'll see you there. <laughs> I don't know how many people watching this will go, probably not many. Um, but if you are, then um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you there. <laughs> okay, and uh, let's get into the video. Okay, so this is some recent gameplay um, from a test session that we did yesterday. Um, so this is like, this is the most up-to-date thing I could possibly show you. Um, the game has a ton of different weapons and characters to use. Um, the characters are purely like cosmetic. They don't actually, um, change, uh, like your stats or anything if you use certain different, like, armors or whatever. It's just cosmetic stuff. Um, to make you look different and not show off what you have. Um, and then we've got... Uh, I think we've got seven or eight different maps to play on, um, and all the different like game modes that you, you'd expect from a shooter game, such as uh, Team Deathmatch, Free for All, Snipers, uh, Shotgun Snipers, Rockets Only, uh, Fiesta, which is where you get random weapons every time you respawn, uh, Gun Game from like Call of Duty. Um, what else is in there? Uh, we're working on like um, a capture the flag style mode and a uh, like domination slash um, like king of the hill style mode um, and then we also have a mode called brawler which is where like basically you just run around punching people all the weapons are dropped on the floor and you just run around and punch people <laughs> um, which is pretty fun we have um, some people stuff so like you versus the computer so you can either do the multiplayer pvp but against bots or you can do a work in progress 
almost PvE, where it's kind of like a Call of Duty Zombies thing, where it's you against, like, insects that are crawling into, like, a cave, and you're trying to spray them down with bullets before they, um, reach your, like, base, or your generator, reactor, whatever, that you're trying to protect. Um, so there's waves of oncoming enemies that you have to fight against in that mode, too. Um, and then, what else do we have? The maps we have are quite spread out in terms of environment, too. Like, we've got um, a map called Ravine, which is, like, a, a open, like, field, grasslands, nice sunshine beaming down with flowers and grass and trees. Um, and then we've got, like, an ancient um, Egyptian temple theme map uh, that's literally called Temple. Um, I almost either burped or hiccuped. Um, I think I just said burped. Burp, 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 burped. <laughs> um, we've got Pipeline, which is like um, a power plant theme. Um, and then uh, Impact, which is uh, like an icy um, area with like a ship that's crash landed, um, which is what's called Impact, like the, the impact of the ship that's crash landed. Um, everything is just kind of like snowed and iced over over time. Uh, we've got a map, um, it has a, it has a new name, but we used to call it Alpha, but I can't remember the new name. I gave it a new one a couple weeks ago. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, like a sci-fi floating platform city style, uh, map, which is quite unique. Um, and then we've got Delta Station, which is like a, um, a sci-fi military base with um, jets that are like flying overhead and things. Uh, it's like a hangar for spaceships. Uh, and then finally, we have Security Deck, which is like a research lab. Um, it's a very small map meant for more like a 2v2 or 1v1 style gameplay. Whereas the other maps are all like uh, 4v4 or like 8v8 big team style. between 10 and 20 different um, characters for you to choose from um, and somewhere between again like 10 to 20 different um, weapon skins to apply to your guns different like colors and patterns and things um, and then we have um, matchmaking which is where like you'll search for a game and if there's you know three or four other people are also searching for a game Pair together. I'm tired, it's 1.30 in the morning, and um, I've only had about four hours of sleep, so I don't know how I'm functioning. I'm going to sleep after this. <laughs> um, yeah, imagine making your search for like, I want to play Team Deathmatch, and you like search, and if there's, you know, like five other people searching for Team Deathmatch, it'll pair you together, and then you'll do like a 3v3. like every person for themselves, um, the different like modes with sniper rifles and shotguns, Fiesta gun game, um, a double split list of two v twos, stuff like that. Um, and then there's custom game, which is where you get to change a few more settings. So like the the user gets to choose the map that's played on, the modes that's played. If there's any sub mode to it, like um, giving everyone a, a giant bobblehead that wobbles around, or giving everyone 50% um, health or 200% damage or things like that um, to kind of just customize the experience a bit more um, and those are private matches between you and people that you either invite or people that choose to join through an open like invitation so yeah um, and that's the that's the basics so as I said we're going to Insomnia Gaming Festival in the UK uh, April 7th until 10th, you can play cross it there from like 10am to 6pm uh, or something. Um, we'll have three machines there for people to play on. Um, and we'll just rotate people, like every 10 minutes a new group goes on, they go off. 10 minutes later a new group goes on, they go off. Um, and it's just a very, very active um, weekend. So... to um, get to sleep. 
I'm making myself tired by doing ASMR videos while I'm already sleepy. Um, so, yeah, and then after Insomnia Gaming Festival, so let's say like maybe April, I don't know, like mid-April, April like 14th, 15th, 16th, something like that, um, we're going to do a Steam playtest, so maybe in like three weeks, um, a Steam playtest so you can play the Insomnia Gaming Festival build from home. Um, on Steam if you've got a PC and you'll be able to play with all the other people that are playing as well and uh, give us some feedback um, give us ideas report bugs that you find and things like that um, and there'll be some uh, rewards as well so people that play uh, in these playtests we usually do like a, if you get 100 kills then you get a, a different weapon skin or if you um, have played the game for 10 hours over the course of the weekend then you get like a character and you know stuff like that um so should be on the lookout for that if you want to keep up to date with us then just search cross planet game and we'll come up like everywhere like our username is cross planet game on youtube twitter facebook uh tiktok um Okay.